Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pack Bros YouTube channel. My name is Chris and it is time. I thought I missed the boat to get this new set, but a store that I frequently buy from did a restock and they notified me and it looks like I got in on that restock wave because I have the newest one piece set, Awakening of the New Era, OP5, 12 cards per pack, 24 packs per box and we got something special in this one gonna go through the types real quick there are 126 plus one types in total 45 commons 30 on commons 26 rares 10 super rares two secret rares six leaders six specials one dawn card and one first anniversary special i didn't know that was in here that's a pleasant surprise already what i did know they did in this set was they included uh instead of one manga art which i believe is the average for all the other sets i believe it's only just one manga art that you can potentially pull they have three in this one three manga alternate art cards and the top one is of course monkey d luffy alternate art manga which is going for like two grand canadian right now absolutely ridiculous insanely hard to pull but i pulled a manga alternate art before and i believe i can do it again and honestly, all you got to do is believe in the heart of the cards and you can do anything. Maybe not anything, but you can do a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we are lucky. I believe you can average between um, between one to four alternate art cards per box. And we're going to see what we can do. Uh, the mangas only come in the alternate art. So hopefully when we get our alternate art out of this box, it is one of those manga cards. Uh, and there's also a lot of other good value throughout this set. Of course, the top three are going to be the mangas. Uh, there's a Nami special card, which is also really good. Yamato special. Uh, what else do we have here? Uta special. Um, you know, Rob Lucky. There's there's value throughout this product, 100%. But the top ones, of course, are going to be those big alternate art and special cards. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get into this. Going through my comms and uncommons. I'm not going to spend too much time on those. No disrespect, they do look fantastic, but it's going to take me way too long to get those. Uh, I have a rare out of this pack is Zoro Juru, and I apologize. Did I already hit the alternate? Okay, I lied. That's not the alternate, but it is a freaking cool looking card. A uh, super rare of Rob Lucci. Lucci? Lucky? I'm going to go with Lucky, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, okay? It is what it is. I also just noticed the hit was on the back of that pack, and I don't like it when the hit is on the back of the pack. Why don't I like it when the hit is on the back of the pack? Because when the hit is on the back, that means it is potentially being scraped uh, throughout transportation. Uh, the back of the card might not be great quality. Rare. When you're at sea, you fight against pirates. That's true. That's true. You do. And a rare. Whoops. Uh, Bello Betty. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about with the One Piece TCG, and it's a compliment, don't worry, I'm not going to knock it, I'm not going to knock it like I just did my camera. Um, one thing I like about the One Piece TCG is it doesn't seem like they're overflowing uh, the players with products all at once. Sakazuki on the leader card, we have a rare uh, Rosanante and a rare Lindbergh. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're overloading their player base with a lot of the product. They're actually giving you time to play with the cards that come out. Uh, this is set number five, and I believe they've been out for just over a year at this point, which means they've basically been releasing a set once every two and a half, uh, two, two and a half months, I want to say. Leader card of Sabo, a rare of Mancheri, and a rare of Ohm. And why I like that release schedule, it means that you have time to really enjoy the cards that are coming out of each set and construct a deck that you want to play and play it at locals, play it in tournaments, play it against friends. You know, the value that you get out of the cards that you purchase or the cards that you get out of the booster box that you purchased, um, it, it has more longevity than other TCGs allow you to have. So for example, Gadatsu on the rare, a Trafalgar Law on the super rare. Let me see if that's an alternate art. If you want to see something hilarious, actually, go and check out my... 
what was it? Uh, Kingdoms of Intrigue or Pillars of Strength? I think it was Pillars of Strength. I completely missed uh, the biggest pull uh, that I've ever had out of <laughs> out of a One Piece box. It was kind of funny. That is not the alternate art. As I was saying, when you give players a chance to actually play out their decks with the cards that they get out of these booster boxes, it just adds such a strong foundation and respect from your player base so that they actually do come back and want to play your card game and they want to buy a new deck they want to buy more cards they want to buy another booster box when you have something like uh monkey d luffy there on the leader rare killer and a rare hina when you have something like magic of the gathering where their production and their release schedule was absolutely astronomical for the past like two years through the covid boom and bust players literally couldn't afford to keep up with their release schedule and it was absolutely absurd because you would release a product once every month and they're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars baby five on the rare um i think that's our alternate art i believe that's our alternate art of the bellow betty at, at least it's one of our alternate arts oh yes it is that is an alternate art bellow betty Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, there's actually two alternate art be uh, Bello Betty cards. There's a character card and a leader card. We got the alternate art leader card. That's pretty cool. And it looks pretty sick. The Bello Betty is like around 60, 70 bucks uh, in the alternate art variation. So that's freaking sweet. So far, so good. Um, as I was saying with Magic the Gathering and how they were releasing their products for the past like two, three years, uh, they gave absolutely no chance for the players to actually enjoy the deck. Uh, that they were playing with because next month the uh, you know there's a chance that your cards were going to be reprinted and that card that you paid 30 40 50 bucks for sometimes even more sometimes the hundreds of dollars uh congratulations it just got reprinted and it's now also a rarity slot higher so it's more common than before and it's five dollars instead of that 80 dollars you paid and that sucks when you spend your hard-earned money um you know on a card and you're like finally i got this card oh rebecca on the super rare very nice when you spend your hard-earned money on something like that and you're like finally i can include this in my deck i've wanted it for a while i worked hard to get it and you know now now i get to unleash this power on my friends and my foes and then it gets reprinted in three weeks and you're like oh cool i just spent 80 bucks for a card that's now worth five bucks why did they even bother in the first place now you're dumping players and the players aren't going to come back because they're like what's the point that's holy crap this freaking set is awesome Worst Lino on the super rare. Wow, we are pumping out the super rares here. There's 10 super rares in this set, and we have like five. Uh, anyways, my whole point of that rant was I wanted to say how much I actually liked uh, the route that One Piece is going with their release schedule. Gives you a little bit of time to actually enjoy it. Sabo on the leader. Rare uh, couture patchwork. Morley on the rare. Ooh! I think that's our special Dawn card. I almost always get at least one of those special Dawn cards per uh, per booster box. So that's actually nice to see. Also, I want to mention, this is the first time I've used a pull tab in a product, and it hasn't screwed me. So far, this set is fire. We have Rosanante on the leader. Probably pronouncing it wrong. Don't care at this point. Fire Fist on the rare and a rare Shirahoshi. And did I just get back-to-back -back special Dawn cards? Now I have to look at what the Dawn card looks like. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ugh. So here's the issue with what I just discovered. You get one to four alternate arts per box. I pulled the one leader, and it turns out both of these Dawn cards count as alternate arts, which means I'm at three now, and those are worth like a dollar. So... I can kiss my chances at another good alternate art goodbye. That sucked. That sucked to discover. But we continue. Through the fire and the flames, we carry on. This is going to mark our halfway point. I pray to the lords above that we can still get at least what. That's a special. That's a special. It's a special. I'm 100% sure. I'm I'm 99% sure. That's a special. I I think it's a special. It's a secret rare. But it's a good one. I still think it's a special just because it says SP there. I'm going to I'm going to go with special. 
and that doesn't count as an alternate art. So there's still a chance that I can get one more. All right. The, the set is redeeming itself. It's redeeming itself. I got, I got, I got screwed with those two Dawn cards being alternate arts back to back, but there's still a chance for some more fire. We got a rare and another super rare of Pika. Into the next pack. I am enjoying this so far. I was having a really good time before. Then I hit those two alternate arts. Koala on the super rare. I hit those two alternate art dawn cards. It brought me down a little bit. All right. My energy was a little depleted. It was a good hit. Good hit to the morale. But we came back with that secret rare. And that's cool. Okay. Rare Mansherry. Another super rare. Ulti. I feel like I feel like my super rare pulls are not supposed to be like this. I feel like I'm getting too much. Like honestly, I feel like I feel like there's too much super rare happening here. Like like this isn't supposed to happen. Bello Betty, rare Isho, and a rare two two hundred million volts Amaru. Wow. Two hundred million. Because a hundred million volts wasn't enough. You needed the two hundred. see what we get out of this one beppo on the rare and virgo on the rare we have five packs left total five total see what we can do here rare ohm and a rare nefletari vv four packs left Punk Rotten, Hina on the rare, and Hound Blaze on the rare. Don't feel like we're going to get a, a much more fire here. I think I've pretty much uh, exhausted the extent of my luck throughout this box now. Monkey D. Luffy on the leader. Zoro Juro on the rare, and a Bello Betty on the rare. Two packs left. My final chances to get at least one more alternate art. Most likely not going to happen. Let's see. I bid 500 million. That's a lot of money. X Drake on the rare and Satori on the rare. Last pack here. Let's see if we got that last pack luck. Whoa, that almost fell over. Amazon rare and a rare. Okay. So let's take a look at some of the hits here. I can't freaking believe two of my alternate arts were the freaking dawn cards it's so upsetting um but we did get an ulti super rare koala super rare a pika super rare the yuta secret special card i'm almost positive it's a special because the sp i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it is dawn card alternate art dawn card alternate art that freaking sucks we're not going to talk about it anymore borsalino on the super rare rebecca on the super rare our good alternate art out of this one was a Bello Betty leader alternate art card, which is sick. Trafalgar Law on the super rare as well. And a Rob Lucky, Rob Lucci. Don't know how to pronounce his last name, but it is what it is. Actually, let me see on those Dawn cards. Does it, it doesn't really have a star on it like the other alternate art. But it did say that it was an alternate art in the listing. So I'm just going to trust the listing online. And say that it's an alternate art. Anyways, uh, this was freaking awesome. I'm so happy I got to uh, get in on a restock of this product. And if you guys opened OP5, then please let me know what your thoughts are on it. There's been so much hype around this set, and I think that uh, they're doing a fantastic job with this game. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Unfortunately, I'm all out of One Piece packs, which means I'm out of time. But I'll see you guys in the next video.